welcome to a YouTube video. I'm Austin slash Parfait. And I'm Chris slash Ox. And together we're downtown Kentucky, and this is Ring of Champions. It's our Fire Pro series where we do commentary over Sim to Fire Pro. It's really fun. There's crazy characters. It's yeah, and great. Old, You're mad. Old time. We have two huge main events on tonight's show, so I think without any further ado, we start the show with our show. Let us. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ring of Champions Wrestling. My name is Chris McElroy, and I am joined by my illustrious colleague, none other than Mr. Christophe. Thank you, Kurt. And you know what? With the matches we have lined up for you tonight, let's just jump right into the jump action. Right. We're not even going like, to hype up any of them? You don't want to hype up the double main event? You want to just jump right into the first match? Well, let's hop right into announcing oh, our events. Oh, fair enough. That is definitely what I meant. Oh, of course. Yeah, we have some amazing match yeah. tonight. We'll just start with the double main event. We have for the King of Flight title, Spider-Man will be taking on Jeff Hardy. And for the Ace Championship, Baki Hanma will be taking on Jushin Thunder Liger. This is a stacked card, and there's multiple other title matches throughout the night. This is a big show. It, and you know what? I think it now it's time to jump right into the first match and tell them about it. Here it is. You know what? I think that sounds good. <laughs> we have Vega taking on Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh has had more matches here, but not the best win-loss record from my understanding. He's had a couple wins, I believe, and a, a few he losses. He has beaten Luffy. One of the few to do it. He is one of the few to beat Monkey Luffy. That match never officially happened, though. That was a dark match, I believe. Yeah, it I was. Think. I don't remember, honestly. I don't remember our own door. But here we go. Vega versus Winnie the Pooh. We we'll do wonder if we'll see those iron claws being used by Vega here tonight. I'm sure Pooh Bear will be bringing out the bikes. I would have to assume... Winnie loves to bite his opponents. He thinks they're covered in honey. Don't know who told him that, because it is not true. No, it is not. Our referee but is it never stops him. We will call this action right down here. Here comes Winnie the Pooh. Hailing from the Hundred Acre Woods. You ever been to the Hundred Acre Woods? I have not, Me and I've been told that you probably shouldn't. And I've heard that they might kill you and so Yeah, I've heard that as well. Some some accidents happened out in the middle of the woods. Here's the, the match is starting off test Frank Vega wins out. Arm drags, we need a boot. Oh, shoulder tackle from Pooh. Another And another. Ooh, a chop. And an eye rake. Ooh, that rake. mask may have protected his eyes, though, from Vega. But I have to imagine so. A punch there from Vega to the stomach. And into a spinning cold. Headbutt from when he missed the clothesline. Arm ringer. Ooh, into the shoulder into the tackles shoulder on the shoulder. Sweeps out the leg. And an elbow to the face. Ooh. Jeez, he just matched one Jeez. back and forth action here. Both competitors giving it. Oh my goodness! Cracking the honeypot this early! Oh! Two. That's his eight. finishing maneuver, and he just knocks it out like it's nothing. Absolutely. Sit out. Spine from buster gets a one. Winnie the Pooh wanted to end this match early. He wanted to get the elbow. quickest match of the night award. He absolutely did, trying to steal that from Bakihama. Oh, flipping sent on there. Another eye rake from Blue Bear. Takes out the eyes there. And wait, runs in. Big flying elbow in the corner. Rolls through. Into the camel clutch. Into the camel clutch. Yeah. Oh, when he's able to get Blue out. Bear out. With ease. And now he's just raking his elbow on the face. Ooh, crossbody miss. This is that crossbody. Lower tackles to the shoulder. Trying to pull that arm out of the socket. Oh. 
Back and forth battle. Punch battle. Who's got the stronger punch? It looks like it's Vega. Now he's up on top. Oh, flying fist drop. Five minutes gone. That time an elbow. Flying elbow. And one off the ground that time. Oh no, fair oh, no, fair down. Not in round one, folks. Vega takes that DDT and gets right back up. And takes that elbow. It's not that time. Big and a third DT bear. from Winnie the Pooh. He is trying to knock Vega unconscious, folks. Yes, he is. Oh, ducks the crossbody again. Super kick Ooh, from big Vega. Super kick. Oh, and a jackknife pin. One, two. It's a two. Crowd appreciative of that jackknife pin. They like that. Very the impressive. Shoulder tackle from Pooh. And a flying elbow drop. Now it's got him up for a big power oh. roll. One, two, two, go for a third. Three, three. Pounds, and a high stack. That pin. could be it for Vega. But, but no, hold on. still in this headlock takeover. A little bit more fight left in him. Vega is a compet a longtime player in the Street Fighter two. world. He knows how to keep going for multiple rounds. Big slam, and now he's calling for a flip. Oh my, and he hits it. Oh. Back handspring into that reverse uh, shooting star. Triple power bomb once again. Man. Stack 10, that could be it, but no! Oh, Only my 2. goodness. 2.9, he's able to still be in this. Flying Heine. And a big elbow drop. Going for a another one. now fist no. drop. fist drop. And another fist drop. Double fist drop after that elbow. Oh, now and another there's bite. more biting. You wouldn't think the mask is protecting somewhat, but he, we still see that blood flowing. He is a bear. Those teeth are sharp, he and he has an incredible oh, bite fell off the rope. Ooh, shine of uh, Inziguri. Fist, Fist drop, drop again. To the butt. One, two, Trying to again. punch when his bun. Biting at the face. Soul kick into the Pele. Drags him out. Big elbow, elbow drop. drop. When you go for another oh no! Bomb. Another triple power bomb. That's the third triple power bomb. That's nine power bombs, folks. Not even it's a in one. The ropes. Hits the crossbody. Cross hits it this time. Flying fist drop. Winnie right back up. Ducks the clothesline. Can't Did duck that super duck kick. That super kick. Good. Evan, fist drop folks. again. Winnie back up though. Right to the bite. Into the biting. Two. Bear might be getting desperate. I don't know if he's hungry or if he's desperate. Oh, the beautiful two, kick combo and a standing moonsault. That's going to be the ropes, though. Even with the blood in his eyes, Fair Bear still able to call this right down the middle. Buddy. Winnie oh. the Pooh taking advantage of knowing he has till Goodness. five every time he starts that bite. Slipping on, I believe, is maybe his own blood there was Vega. It seemed that way. But then Headlock oh, takeover, Headlock Winnie not able to capitalize. Oh, punches. back to the punch battle earlier. Vega won out. Will he win out again? Oh, he will because he switched it Ooh. to big Inziguri. And a flying splash. And a flipping sent on. He can string together this off, but he slipped on oh his my blood goodness. once again. Kick from Winnie. Winnie says it's over, but takes a multi-kick oh. combo. And oh, a jackknife pin, that could be it after those kicks. This might be it. It, it is. is! Your winner, Vega! A very impressive victory from Vega after taking all those bites. Absolutely. Vega with an impressive victory there. It is now time for a, I believe, a double, no, not a double debut, a single debut against a man who we haven't seen in a while. As Walter White makes his debut against John Wick. John Wick has not been here very often. No, he is not. And I do believe that he has not won a match here in the Ring of Champions yet. I do not yet. believe he has. No, his only other match was against Baki Hanma in a losing effort. And, you know, who can blame him on that one? On, I believe, like our fourth or fifth show. It's been a while since we've seen him. It's 
the beginning of the end. <laughs> yes, indeed. Tonight, can he beat Walter White, or will his losing streak continue? We'll have to wait and see. Here comes Walter, Walter White. White. Turn to the Breaking Bad theme. Which is only like 10 seconds long, so we will hear it multiple times. <laughs> How about that? Here is Walter White. Short straight and through the point. Eisenberg. He is the one who knocks. But John Wick is the one who shoots up everybody. Very true. Yes. Well, clever of a nickname, but, you know, accurate statement. I do believe his actual nickname is the Baba Yaga, a.k.a. the Boogeyman. I think he's not coming out of the John Wick team like he's supposed to be. No, he is not. What? I'm sure John Wick is not super enthused about that, but we'll see if that affects his wrestling tonight. I have to wonder if John Wick honestly even cares. He's just here for a fight. Kick there to the five. Test of strength. Walter White Ooh. is proving to be stronger than an elbow. But you would not think not. that, but... <laughs> but he is. You never know. You know. Maybe he has super cancer. As in, like, he gives him superpowers. Not that it's a very aggressive form of cancer. <laughs> it, it kills him very, very rapidly. Oh! Big clothesline missed. Shoulder tackles in the corner to John Wick. Back an elbow to the back of the head. Walter. John Wick kind of getting laid out by Walter White here, folks. Walter seems to have his number. Walter is known to be somewhat ruthless. I'm not surprised. He's, he, I, he's someone I'd expect to be willing to do whatever needs to be done to win. I wouldn't doubt it. That is kind of the way he lives life. Big Lariat. Off at one. Coming low to the back. Picks him right back up. Oh! Nice. Headlock takeover. Takeover there, and then I'll pick him up. Does Walter. But takes D he called out DDT as he hit it! And now takes a big slam. Walter not calling out the names of his moves. No, he is not. He's just doing it. Nice. Headlock takeover. Very Zito-esque with the way he hit, hit that headlock takeover. I wonder if John Wick's done some judo training. Would not surprise me. Would not surprise me in the slightest. Just slamming him down by the hair there. Walter White definitely just brute forcing it here. John Wick oh, the run floor. to the floor. Walter using that time to catch his breath. Once again, do want to point out that, John, that Walter White does have cancer. That is correct. Spoiler for episode one. one cause of breaking fatigue. Bad. Sorry for anyone who's waiting to start Breaking Bad, but he does have yeah. cancer. Yeah, that is right. Yeah. Oh, nice. Some mission hold locked in. Trying to separate that ankle. Whipped off. John Wick runs in oh. big, running elbow in the corner, and then a European uppercut. Hunters versus European uppercuts in the strike comp and strike battle. Big rolling elbow. Bersawa is proud. Puts the leg after it. Almost so gets close. the three count. John Wick hasn't had a chance to get in too much offense, but apparently he's been very effective with it. Walter White Ooh. with that stunner. That fireman's carrying into the stunner. Slap to the face, and now, ooh, has him all tied up in a submission hold, but in the ropes. In the ropes. Unfortunately. Elbow from Walter White. Oh, catches the oh. kick, but gets pulled into a knee bar. Walter White does not give up, though. It's off the wig. One, Calls him out. Two, three, four. Oh, oh, there it is again, that fireman's carry stunner. Oh, seven, eight, nine, oh guillotine choke on the floor. 11, 12, 
These men are going Rick after each other's throats. And then just kicks him off his kicks his feet out from under him. Elbow from Ooh. Heisenberg. But the leg sweep takes him off his feet. Oh! And the guillotine choke, that could be it! That very well could be. But Heisenberg able to fight out of it. Walter White not willing to stay down. Just an elbow to the back of the head there. Totally in the legal legality of the rules, but just underhanded, really. You're just kind of disgusting, really. Getting in the mind in the corner. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's what I was Somebody is seriously injured. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Oh! Fireman's carry stunner! Oh, no. That might be it, it folks. It, it is. is! I wonder if that move has a cool name. We'll find out. I'm sure it does. Beyond Wick still without a win in the Ring of Champions. That is true. The blue, blue sky. sky. I knew it would have something to do with blue. <laughs> Makes sense. It is now time Should for have been a crystal blue persuasion. Mm. Well, it's the blue sky. Here comes Eric Cartman and Stan Marsh, the South Park Dojo boys. They're going to be in tag team competition tonight. Yes, they are. And who are they going to be taking well, they're on? They're going to be facing Executioner and Shogun. These are two of our top tag teams who both have not been able to get the job done when the big win matters, though. No, they have not. All right, wonder, will actually I don't wonder how many bear. chances. He has been stitched up. He is ready to go. No concussion. He passed the concussion protocol. Very glad to hear it. Yes, indeed. Here come the South Park Dojo boys. Coming out to Eric Cartman's rendition of Poker Face. The, um, I the, uh, the EP is out. If you would like to purchase this for some reason. If you would... Head on over to Consider Eric going to therapy instead. Yeah, head on over to Eric Cartman's uh, Apple music page. music page. Yep. Then here comes Executioner and Shogun. Two just titans of the sport. No team name needed. They just get the job done. You could both representing the Empire Wrestling Federation from their past. Both men checking their wrist guards, making sure they're ready to go. Five. Breaks the eyes. Big Ooh. suplex from Cartman. But then a big power bomb from Executioner! And immediately into that jackknife pin. Not enough though. Has been done. Oh, it is not. Still very, very early in this Absolutely match. Absolutely sub a minute when all that happened. And just for a frame of reference, our usual length for a tag team match is probably in the 20-minute mark. 20 to 30, honestly. And absolutely well within that ballpark. Apparently, up to 40. I was almost like it was like 50, I believe, when the Wolf Hawkfield and Mike Awesome took on the Fox Fathers last week. Boy, was that a match! Yes, it was. Give up. And the crazy thing was they were throwing bombs for 50 minutes straight. It started off. I thought it was going to be a quick match with how much action we were seeing early on in that match. But they just refused to stop fighting. No, they did not. But they're not in this match tonight. The Fox Father's actually not even on the show tonight after losing last week. Well, that's right. They're going to have to the wait a little with no bit name before of they Mike get Austin in the Are getting a tag title shot later tonight. 
Cartman kicking off Shogun and Executor. Breaking the eyes. And throwing Executor down. Cartman seems to be in control here. Flying Heine. Flying Heine. Big suplex. suplex. It's not just both yawn at the same time, I promise. No, of course not. Goes for a suplex, but blocked into a suplex of his own. One, Taking him out of the ring. Two. Executioner followed him out there. Executioner is willing to bring in the hardcore implements. Right, so Stan Marsh was not ready for that quite yet. Didn't get back into the ring as fast as he could. Stan Marsh does like to break the rules, but typically does not bring weaponry in. No, he doesn't. Just a practical executioner of the uh, Rochambeau. Absolutely, South Park Yoga Mantra. Win by any means necessary. Sub mantra, kick him in the balls if you can. Give up! Bring him in that boxing crab. Chop there from Shogun and then picks him up, goes for suplex to reverse. Ooh! Stan tags out to Cartman. And now we're gonna hit double powerbomb on Shogun! Right in the middle of the ring, picks him right back up though. Flying Heine. Tagging into Executioner. Oh, now double power double bomb, power bomb from them. Cartman. And a big guillotine leg drop from the Executioner. And King Kong knee drop after. And he fights off both men. Stan just yeah. raining down punches. Clinch knee. The staple of the Empire Wrestling Federation Dojo Boys. Not that they went to the same dojo. No, don't call them Dojo Boys. I'm sorry. Uh, That's right. Very confusing. Give up. But all of the people who did train at the Empire Wrestling Federation Dojo do all use those clinchings. That they do. They are very fond of them. They're hockey mans as well as these two. Oh, speaking of those clinch knees. There they are. Coming out for him to get force. up. Flying Ooh. kick! But then a bulldog. Modified bulldog. Look at my drag the head on by the arm. He tried to separate the arm in the middle of that. Two, choke there from Cartman. Three. Not surprised in the least that Cartman would be willing to go for a choke. And he's gonna take another double power bomb. And a neck breaker for his troubles. And oh, stretch plumb from Shogun. Stan able to break it up. Choke slam, bro. And a choke on the floor. Two. And no one surprised. None in the slightest. Cartman oh, loves a choke. Shogun and Double the bow and submissions arrow. happening. Stan had Executioner while Shogun had Cartman. Not quite enough to double power roll on Shogun. Away. Executioner whipped off. I believe Executioner and Stan are the legal men. Shogun with that belly to belly on Stan. Slobbing blow to the back of the head. That double axe handle. Up for a suplex, but blocked into a suplex again of his own. Goes up top. Could be Moonsault. It it's is in the ropes. But it's in the ropes. That's still gonna drag and a lot of energy out of in their corner. Stan. Oh, nice machine gun elbow there. Oh, he's taking his head, folks. And he tags out to Shogun. I guess things better taking his head right now. I suppose so. Or he just likes doing that talk. Dragon Suplex blocked there. Tags back in execution. And stop the double blue choke. But this time he does oh, no. have it in. Shades of non signed competitor Michael Myers with that double blue choke. 
spikes his head into the ground with that DDT. Not to be confused right. with never going to be signed competitor Mike Myers. That yeah. is right. We, we, we do not want the love to lose here. Spinning backfits. Plus, we already have him here. Shrek. No, we don't acknowledge that that's just the character Shrek. We don't, it's something from a movie, it's just Shrek. Oh, right, right, right. Super kick! Oh, big super kick from Cartman. Executioner right back up, though. Oh, and to a strike, strike combination from Stan. Yeah, combination there, yes, indeed. Oh, 2.9. Soga not able to break it up. Executioner able to kick out, though. Chopping out Cartman, and then just running boot. And now a double power bomb on Stan. Uh oh Executioner. Holds him up so he can be Larry did by Shogun. Big elbow miss. Oh. Missed communication Miss by the communication. South Park Dojo boys. German suplex there from Hartman. Very impressive. And a big splash. That could be it. That very well might no, be. But it's Shogun not. Showing the resiliency in the fight of a champion he has inside of him. Got the hold into a bow and arrow. Oh, has them all tied up. Give up. Give Carbon up. give up? No, he won't have a chance because Stan breaks it up for him. Uh oh, Skewer coming after Carbon. Goes him into the ropes, meeting in the mind in the middle. Between so Carbon and Shogun. on that setup. Shogun tags out to Excuser. Carmen into Stan. Stan with choke on Shogun. Executioner tries to pick up a block. Oh, Rochambeau! Oh. I believe our first of the night, surprisingly. First, first of the night, yeah. Incredible. Passing a lot of chokes minutes in. and closed fist punches. So don't worry, they've done their illegal tactics, but... Suplex from Shogun. Oh, Roshan moved his own from Excuser to get out of that move. Big suplex. Double power ball on Cartman. Moonsault. Shogun is the legal man, though. Will he be able to capitalize on that setup? No, he won't. He oh, super big kick. super kick. No, just a sit. Pin. With all that weight on the shoulders make it hard to kick out, but he was able to. With the help of Executioner. Kicks in the corner from Cartman. Running short tackle evaded. Powerbomb. Dangerous style. Dropped him right on his and neck. Not Avoid that power bomb. And that's it. And that's and it. Was able to break it up thanks to Stan's stopping of him. The South Park Dojo boys, an impressive victory. Absolutely. And thankfully, not 50 minutes. I couldn't agree more. It's now time for a match that I doubt will go 50 minutes. Both of these competitors typically keep it under. 15 as we have Fred Durst Limp Biscuit's own the master of the crack attic taking on the creator of the Fujiwara armbar Yoshiaki Fujiwara a match that I don't think anyone ever thought they'd see but here in Ring of Champions anything is possible and tonight, anything is Durst taking on Fujiwara. Absolutely. It's going to come down to Fred Durst's crack attic and Yoshiaki Fujiwara's Fujiwara armbar, in my opinion. We'll have to see if they agree. Limp Biscuit's on Fred Durst coming out to Roland. Guys, don't forget to roll in and roll out. Go buy Limp Biscuit's album, please. Maybe they'll have a new album if you buy the old album. Probably not, though. Fujiwara yeah. coming out to very light music that is almost un un audible, inaudible, but it is there. He is coming out to fly to the Valky Valkyries very quietly. 
And that feels like it fits Fujiwara. He's a very stern, serious man who is all about wrestling. What? Well, there he is. Early from Fall action. Yes. Headlock, deep headlock. Pushed off. Oh, oh, sprawls with him. Fujiwara trying to keep this match technically based, which is what he would need to do if he wants to beat Fred Durst. He lets Fred Durst get a chance to get some of those that speed in here. We oh, can definitely go towards headlock. Durst. Yoshiaki Fujiwara is going to want to slow this down. And keep it in his doorway. Elbow there. Oh, Fred Fred Durst going for a submission on Fujiwara. Not something I expected tonight. Oh, punch to the gut. And a DDT. Ooh, DDT. Durst with a commanding Ooh. performance right now. Absolutely. Fred Durst is always impressive. Except unless you catch him with that just that one shot that just takes him out. Like, let's be real. Every match except for his match with Baki Hanma was, has, he's been super impressive. That one match, though, it ended very quickly to those deadly knees. Absolutely, it did. And that's no real slight on Fred Durst. Those knees are killer. The only they person should be who, registered weapons, really. Really, I don't know if they should be legal at this point. The only person to really be able to absorb them One. was and then Fujiwara. Yoki, Fujiwara. <laughs> but neither men were able to beat Baki Hanma. No, they weren't. But we'll see who comes out in this matchup. Fujiwara <laughs> dissecting him with those strikes. If he was able there. to take that many crown knees, I'm sure he'll be able to take plenty of punishment from Fred Durst, but Fred Durst is not showing any signs Fred of Durst stopping. Fred Durst DDT there. And a Still with a draw. very commanding performance. Absolutely. This match is very evenly matched. Both men go through periods of control. Oh. Now, pile driver. Pile driver. <laughs> Spin kick miss. Headbutt connects. Takes Fuji off his feet. Runs up the, the ropes. Living Satan. Big elbow from Fujiwara. Just a kick to the inner thigh. Oh, picks him up. Butterfly suplex. Ooh. Red Durst. Ooh, takes a big punch to the top there. Yeah. And a huge Ooh. headbutt. Winding up a bit. Fujiwara. Now he's in that hard head of his. Puts all of his weight down on him there. Gotta think a headbutt from a guy who could take that many crown knees is probably pretty brutal. Absolutely, that's gotta be a hard head. In the corner they go. Oh, stomps in oh. the corner. Goes up top, could be sticking okay, Swanton Bomb! I don't think he connected oh, though, I think Fujiwara got it. up. Fujiwara now has him in a choke. And a big bulldog from Fred Durst. Oh, it's going to be through a submission tonight. We'll see if Fred Durst submits before he knocks One, Fujiwara out. Two. He did. Blah, 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 blah. So Sorry. true, Kurt. Something had so my true. tongue. Fred Durst tried to pick up Fujiwara but got his leg stuffed out from under him. And now goes for a panda, Fujiwara. I think that might have been just kind of disrespectful, showing that he's already put so much damage on him. Didn't really even do anything, but went for a pin anyway. Oh, went for the crack oh. egg, but reversed into an armbar. Transitions of a half crab. This is not the gameplay I think Fred Durst needs to play on. Do not try to match submissions with the master of submissions in Fujiwara. Absolutely not. Stick to your that is a plan. losing battle. Absolutely. Ooh, they Rain Buster onto the, the floor. floor. And now, oh, he's dancing on him. He says he's going to roll in, roll out. Oh, could it be? No, but once again, reversed. That arm bar. Big elbow Big from elbow. Fujiwara. Lift off. Knee lift. Into the Boston Crab. 
I guess he is weakening the back there with the Boston Crab. He does weaken the lower back, which maybe the Crack Attic would definitely put damage on the back. The X Factor there from Fred Durst, no? I guess it was. Overhead oh. belly to belly suplex! Going up top of the Swanton. But once again, Fujiwara able to get up and goes into that side choke. But taken to the ropes by Durst. DDT. The DDT. He likes to work her over the neck. You might see the Ushiguroshi before he even goes for the crack attic. As I say that, there it is, the Ushiguroshi. That drop right on the back of your neck on his knee. Ushiguara has not gone for the armbar yet. No, he hasn't. You have to wonder if that's going to be a mistake. Would be. Would be underestimating Fred Durst. Yeah. Oh, but there's a big pile oh. driver. Oh, he is working over the arm here, though. Could be weakening it for uh, that Fujiwara arm bar later in the match. Could it be the crack uh -oh. addict? It is! There it is! Crack addict! In the middle of the ring, folks. But no! Fujiwara able to keep going the crack addict! And the Fujiwara arm bar locked in! But oh, Fred Durst breaks Durst free! Out of it. Butterfly suplex! To the Fujiwara armbar! But Durst able to get to the ropes! Both men seem to be winded. Butterfly suplex! Oh, butterfly suplex from Fred Durst. Very Big Lariat! Start transferring into the elbow. Back, back to mouth. Picks him up. Headbutt! Picks a headbutt. Oh, he's dancing! Big soul kick misses the lariat though. Oh, gut style pile yeah. driver! Ooh. Goes to pick up the gotch. Could be it. But no! It's not. They're still in this. It does seem winded Going though. Off the ropes. Shoulder tackle. Durst is giving everything he's got. I don't know if dancing is the right time right now, Durst. Either, especially when you are winded, taking heavy breaths like that. Into the Fujiwara armbar, that's gonna be the ropes again. Saved Let's by the ropes get a there. Or two belly on that belly arm. suplex. Going up for the swat time. Will he hit it this time? No, wait. Waits for him to get up and big drop kick instead. Now could it be Swanton? No, yeah, big guillotine it. legs oh. up and missed. Headbutt to the back of the head. head. To the back of the head. Oh, another gut style yeah. power driver. The DSP for the win. Could it be? Could be. It is. it is. Fujiwara, your winner. An impressive showing from both men, though. Absolutely, Kurt. There's a reason both men are here in the Ring of Champions. Oh, and we have an incredibly exciting match for you up next, folks. Oh, absolutely, indeed. For the women's title, Starfire will be defending her title against none other than her stablemate, Raven. Oh my goodness. Don't blink. You don't want to miss a second of this match, folks. Absolutely. I can promise you that. Get used to this song. You're about to hear it twice. Yes, that is the song. We do That's have right. Puffy Puffy Umi in studio, it sounds like. And it does sound that way. And there they go, starting from the top again. You think they could have slipped the track play, but they didn't. They started it over. Here comes the ring of champions. Puffy Umi Umi in the back, singing live. As they always do. From about 50 feet away from the mic. Yes. That is why it's that quiet. Well, no, actually, you don't understand. Is the crowd was just so loud. They blasted over the music. They're so excited for this Ooh. match. It makes sense. It makes yes, sense. That's, that's got to be what it is. Drop toe hold from Raven. Spin kick miss. Punches from Starfire. Drop toe hold. Punch to the face. 
This is strength. Ooh, Starfire wins out. Drop to hold. Oh, they huge surprise there. Flying cutter miss again twice. Two in a row. She misses it. Gets that stab right though. Headlock takeover. Ooh, big punches. Elbow drop. And oh, flying cross arm breaker. Goodness gracious. Multiple punches there back again. and forth match already. You may think that because these two are friends, they might go easy on each other, but from what I've seen in the Ring of Champions, when friends compete, they fight harder than ever. They give each other a hundred percent. Absolutely, they don't want to go easy on their friends. Give up! Giant swing, headlock takeover. Capo kick! Ooh. Raven. Taking a, somewhat of a risk to be in this tournament right now, because um, she is still mathematically not eliminated right. from the uh, tournament of champions, the ring of uh, the tournament. What's it called? Championship League. I'll remember the name of it. Give up. I certainly hope so. She has not been mathematically eliminated from the Champions League. She has a huge match with Keiji Mutoso this Tuesday, but she's choosing to be here tonight to fight Starfire for the women's championship. I have to wonder if that was a questionable choice. Give up. I would have to say it probably was. Give up. But we'll see. We will see. Raven is she a gets fierce the glory of winning the women's title. At least she walks away with something. Flipping Ooh, senton. Flipping senton off the top rope. Plus the cutter again misses. Picks her up. Airplane spin. Airplane spin. Down. Starfire is a fan of flying, though. Absolutely we know that. Right. Her move the joy of flight. Joy of flight. Her version of the maximum spider she likes to hit. Give up. Another airplane spin. Quick arm drag there from Raven. Raven not doing as many submissions as I may have expected. One, two. That is definitely her typical uh, modus operandi. Oh, Crane oh. goes for the big splash, but misses. Capo kick. Starfire definitely seems to have oh, Raven's cover here tonight. Two. It's a two. Give up. To the octopus hold. She's starting to whip out those submissions on Starfire. Absolutely. Probably a smart move. That is where okay, she no is. They get to one count though. Picture up airplane spin. Give up. Just a submission in its own right. As it makes your opponent very dizzy and they could choose to tap out from that. Not a fun feeling. No, it is not. Running double stomp. Oh. Heated up. Heated uppercut. uppercut. And an elbow. <laughs> Drop total. Dragon screw. Uh, Dragon screw. Thank you. Give up! That's why you're here. Oh! She's, she's flying around. Would it be time for the Ode to the, uh, not Ode to Flight. The Joy of Flight. No, big jumping Rana though. Two. Flies to the Air Force. Oh, that's almost it! Absolutely, but not quite enough to put away Raven. Ten minutes in. stretch, just pushing Give down up. the head. Tombstone Power Driver! Oh. That might be it, folks. One, Very well could two. be a drop on your head. Is nothing to joke around with. No, it is not. Oh! Punches to the face. Also nothing to joke no. around with. Big Ooh. drop salt. Especially with a woman like Starfire with such power. Oh! Ooh. Titan Tower Bomb! Like oh! Must be in the ropes. But it's in the ropes! Push the cutter Damage misses. is done, though. All the way slam. All the way slam. Raven up first, but dazed. But not dazed, but he had enough energy to still hit on Tombstone. Believe that's in the ropes. No, it's not. It's very close, but not. Oh, it is. Enjoy the flight. Two. But no. Well, not Raven enough to keep Raven down yet. Raven has taken that move before from Spider Man, the originator of it. Give up. Right. Camel clutch, but it's into the ropes. Out. Taking a little respect. Breath. Picks her up. 
Headlock takeover in the ropes, though, that headlock. He just takes out the legs with one kick. Starfire's legs definitely weakened. I don't clearly. know if she got that. It might be a little too far. Sarah can run from oh. Starfire. Takes it back up. Yo, she takes hit the cutter! cutter. Raven's too breath. exhausted to capitalize, though. Yes, indeed. Oh, we're getting a strike battle very late in this match. No, 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 so Starfire. Jump and kick, but Raven back up and a kick of her own! And up onto the top. Frank Frank but Black, but she misses. Corks through Centon. We're out. Flipping Centon. Misses. And Whatever that her. was. Into position. Hits the flying splash that time. She's really been fishing for that. Yes, she has. Picks her. Oh. To see if it pays off. She likes to cross those arms up and goes for a choke. With her legs and her opponent's arms. Starfire does take a second to get out of that. Oh! Northern Lights Driver! Oh, to Peach! That could be it, folks. It that is! Peach is a beautiful clutch invented by Mario, who has never got a win with it because he's never won. No, he has not. No, he is not. As you can see there, it is the Ode to Peak. It is now time for another title match. Our second of four title matches tonight. This time for the tag team titles. Which means the Fairly Odd Pirates will be defending their title. That is right. Against, against the team of... None no other than... Yes, the team with no name... None other than Mike Awesome and Wolf Hawkfield. And after their incredibly hard-fought match last week, I can only expect we'll see something similar. You'd have to think it's going to take a lot to put them away. They are two behemoths who have chosen to step aside from the singles division and just focus on being... One of the most impressive and dominating tag teams we've seen in a long time. And speaking of which, they're going to have to take on the most dominating tag team in the company. Absolutely, our current tag team champions. Our, I say current, but actually our only ever tag team champions. They were the first and still are. Still reigning champions. Here comes really off Pirates. Wolf Hockfield, Mike Awesome, the team with no name. Two modern day gladiators. Absolutely. Gladiator Mike Awesome, the Canadian Winsman, Wolf Hockfield. Here comes the Fairly Odd Pirates. Monkey, the Luffy, and Timmy Turner coming out to Timmy Turner's theme, as always. Monkey the Luffy really loves this theme, really loves Timmy Turner, and that's why this team exists. Not sure if Timmy feels the same way about Monkey. He seems so stern all the time since he's in here. Hasn't shown much motion. No, he really hasn't. Goes for a brain buster, but no, reverse into a suplex. Slams him down with that arm drag. And a oh, he gets slam. slammed down himself. Mike Awesome, you would think That's he's going to have the power pain. advantage, and he does. And he does. It makes a lot of sense. It does. He might double Timmy Turner's weight. Although we have seen Timmy Turner overpower a larger opponent's and, and we speaking of which, they're gonna drop toe hold. Punch from Mike Awesome. Timmy Turner is huge really chop. Larry raining. evaded. Punch to the head and then a headlock takeover. Judo esque. Hooked into the corner. Mike Awesome fights off both men. Tags in Wolf. Let's Wolf fight. Oh, double drop kick Ooh, first drop kick. before he leaves the ring. Now it's Wolf and Luffy, legal. Ankle lock. Timmy Turner unfazed on the sideline. Huge drop salt from the big man. Wolf Hockfield. Elbow from Hockfield. Not the tallest man, but definitely over 250 pounds of pure muscle. Yeah, absolutely. Shove back to Monkey. 
And any Sprank battle breaks out again. Elbows have it from Hawkfield. Watch out that ankle. Axe okay. kick from Lucy. And a dead do a dead Herman, Herman. Wolf right back up to his feet first, actually. Tags out to Turner. And fights off both men, does Wolf. And a DDT to Timmy. Ooh, hooks the leg. I don't want to jinx Only them, but count. it seems like Wolf and Mike also might have the Fairly Odd Pirates number. It definitely feels that way they at the moment. They seem to have been more in control of this match than the Fairly Odd Pirates. We'll see and if they're able to maintain that momentum here tonight. Immediately, Mike Austin will power out of it. Lift off again. Runs in and takes down Timmy on the rebound. Deep chin lock. Ooh. Fights out of it, does Timmy. Goes for a suplex reversed. Into, Into a suplex, suplex on the floor. Oh Wolf no! Grabs a candlestick. Candle he wants those tag titles by any means necessary. Does not care how he has to do it. Wolf driver on the uh -oh. floor! Turn it right back up though. Up. Absolute Come animals on. from both teams tonight. Absolutely. Monkey tagged in. Mike kicks both men off. Takes a chop. Chooses to tag up the wolf. Monkey fights off both men. Wolf punches him in the back of the head. And then a DT. Oh, DT. Oh. Two more last chops and then that goes the to that head Jimmy Turner, who is definitely the, uh, the progenitor uh, of that yeah. mounted head in this company. Oh my goodness. Punch is there. And then, oh, short arm Larry oh, from Wolf. Oh. Wolf taking Thanks a bunch of hits, Luffy. but just keeps on ticking. Does not slow down. It definitely doesn't feel like anyone slowed down in no, this match here yet. All. Incredible. Big drop kick from the six foot six modern day gladiator, Mike Awesome. Mike Awesome from Florida. We won't hold that against him. No, we will not. Oh, now mounted headbutt from Turner. Timmy. Awesome pushes them off. Gets After whipped off into his own corner. Running up on the corner. Awesome falls down. Picked up by Timmy. Timmy mounts that him. Leg. And then, oh, transitions into, um, Hockfield doesn't even get in to intervene. He's confident in Austin. Back to, oh, no, not the sharpshooter this time. He, there's that move where he uses his legs to tie up your legs and just flexes to add yeah. extra pain. I don't know if that move has a name. I've never seen anyone besides Timmy Turner ever do it. All four men in. Or he has a name for Wolf. Ooh. Monkey with the giant, the giant swing. Crosses him into the corner. Wolf gets back up and hits a drop salt. No dizziness at all after that. Oh, Looks into like the he three had a armbar. Or not the who you are, but an armbar nonetheless. Yes, indeed. Swing a neck a little bit of a choke too. The arm drop. and the head are both trapped between those legs. Ooh, Ooh, true. Devastating move Ooh. for sure. Mike oh my gosh. in a chair. And now he takes Timmy to the outside. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Awesome bomb to the floor. Insanity, folks. Ducks the punch, but not able to stop that oh. Kamuka Buster. Damage is done there. Timmy Turner being tagged in after that awesome bomb. I don't know if that's the smartest choice. Double drop to drop the monkey. Kick. Timmy fights off both men, though. He's still in this. Flying splash. Wolf not worried. He knows he's gonna take a little more than that to put away Mike Awesome. Strike battle. Timmy wins it with those uh, back those elbows. Slaps. Stage of Shogun. Transition. There it is again. That modified sharpshooter where he puts the leg behind his own leg. Oh, Awesome Mom. Uh oh. No reverse into a hurt. Oh no. Wolf not worried though. Only a two count. Wolf has faith Still in his partner. Still not moving in at all. Pile driver. They move in, but Turner back up and tags in the Luffy. Both them kick down. Wolf in front chance for him to be elbow. Transitions into an armbar. Big off by Turner. Big running Kakeshi headbutt, and then mounting headbutts. Mounted headbutts. 
Timmy stops Austin from intervening, but Wolf able to escape it and picks him up. Shout and die! Stopped and oh. by Timmy Turner with that. But oh! Miscommunication between the Fairly Odd Pirates! Short arm Larry. Short arm Larry. Pick him back up. And a DDT. DDT. Wolf Hockfield taking advantage of that miscommunication from his opponents. Strike and battle, a little bit of punches move. with the elbows. Oh, a headbutt, but he's right back up and a spinning back press. Takes Scooby down, leg drop. leg drop. Tags into Timmy. Tags into Awesome. Fights off both men as Wolf. Awesome and Timmy. Timmy with a belly to belly suplex. Kick to the face from Awesome. This is a back and forth match, folks. Absolutely. This may be the team that has taken the, the Fairlight Pirates to their limit the most. Definitely seems that way. I can see this match going either way, which is not something you say often with the Fairlight Pirates. No, it is not. Awesome splash! Oh! But I think but he, he might have hit him! I think he might have hit him. He looked like he was dazed after he might have barely connected while he was standing. Definitely not what he was going for, but it was... Oh, sit down, oh. Awesome Bomb! Up by the Luffy. Luffy there to intervene. Tags out to Monkey. Oh. Oh, there oh. it is. The Kreutz aneurysm, I believe is what he calls that. Running Awesome Bomb to the floor! Awesome onto the apron. Oh my gosh! Suplex, Suplex. from Timmy to Awesome. Yes. Look kick on the floor. Whipped into the guardrail. Awesome Giant bomb swing. in the ring. Sling blade from Timmy. Monkey to Luffy and Awesome are the two legal men. Running knee strike. Here it comes. It's now the swap. It's now Timmy and oh, Awesome Bomb. Takes him up uh -oh. top. Up onto the top rope. Are you thinking high risk maneuver? There it Ooh. was. The spider German suplex now waiting for him to get up. Flying cross body. That could be it, folks. It is. It is. The Fairly Odd Pirates win it again. Absolutely incredible match between Absolutely. the Fairly Odd Pirates and the team with no name. It is now time for our term in action in Block B, which, if we're being honest with Block B term in action, it is kind of, not pointless at this point, but it's all for pride at this point, as we know who the final, finals, the semifinalists will be. Hello, Zach. Hello, Zach. Sub-Zero versus Mitsuharu Barasawa is our first matchup tonight. Both men have been mathematically eliminated at this point. It is confirmed that it will be Shadow and Godzilla moving out of this block. That's right, they have both had very dominant runs and no one else has really been able to contend. No, they have not. There's been some, there's been a, there's a lot of people tied to that like middle position, but at the top there's only two spots. I am also being worried that this match will be sponsored by our question of the day. If you could have any two video game characters as your own personal bodyguards, who would you love to have? Mm. Uh, you go Zangief. And... Sephiroth. Uh, I'm gonna go with B from Cyberpunk. Uh, 2077. And... Uh, I'm gonna go with... Uh, and... Uh, cooking Mama. And Cooking Mama. Great choice for Cooking Mama. Cooking Mama, who uh, you may see in the women's division at some point, who knows? Very possible. Currently, As anything is. Sub Zero at four points, only two wins for Herman Barsawa at eight points, which means he has four wins. Sub Zero, definitely one of the least winning people in the tournament, definitely wants to. There's pride in line for him, especially in this match. And then when it comes to Bear Sao, he's a man that never wants to lose. He always wants to, have to put on the best match he can. 
Yes, he does, and he usually delivers in that department plenty. Win or lose. Zach says Roxanne Wolf and Rex from Mass Effect. From Bioshock. No, because then he. Oh, Mass Effect, he correct. Yeah. And Roxanne Wolf is. Wolf from. Five Nights at Freddy's. Lift it off. Big back body drop from Bear Sawa. Lift off under the rope and back, back body drop again. Drop. So Kiro tries to sand it with him, people off under the rope. Not able to capitalize on it. That is much better. Yeah, it does. Not too loud. Sorry about that, folks. Just meant we had to talk even louder, which we were doing for a while. But here we are. Now we can quiet down just a little bit. It's, you know, the chill part of the tournament because technically none of it matters. Yeah, but right. don't tell that to, to Bear Sour Sub Zero because they're going to fight tonight like it does because every match matters to these two competitors. Off the ropes. Paris Apple for an elbow. Almost into the back elbow there. Back by drop again. Goes for the pin off of it. Looping palm strikes there from Sub Zero. Into the chin lock. I would not want to put my arms around a bear's throat. Nor would I. Mule kick. Yeah, I have to imagine it's probably one of the last things you'd ever do. Typically speaking, referee Fair Bear is our referee, by the way. Anyone who's That's right. Tuning in this late, and he is calling it straight down the middle, as he always does, and that is why he is our senior official. Give up. Chin lock fights out of it. Does sub zero, sub zero the headbutt, takes Bear Sow off his feet, and then stomps on the head. Axe kick, kick from Bear Sow. Oh. Oh! Combat clutch! Has never got a win with it. Him and Sub-Zero, uh, him and, uh, sorry, not he is Sub-Zero. Him and Scorpion both like to go for that combat clutch. Running penalty kick there. From Sub-Zero, look at that. You're clean up Repeated oh. elbows followed by a rolling elbow. And a kick to the inner thigh, trying to take out those legs. Whipped off into the corner. Combo kick in the Combo corner, kick. nowhere to go! Multiple elbows followed by the elbow. Elbow combination. He loves to hit that. Oh, combat clutch! Two! It's another two count off it. Sub-Zero once again, another victory in this tournament just for pride at this point, but pride means a lot to a ninja like Sub-Zero. Repeated palm strikes. Gym lock, locked in tight. Fights out of it. Oh! Punches to the side of the head. Whipped off in the corner. Bear Sour taking him up on top. top bro. Could be thinking a big move, but no reverse. Stop fighting it out. But oh! Tiger Driver! Ooh! So close it's to that Tiger hit. Driver. One of his signature maneuvers. What we see is finishing maneuver of the Emerald Flosion tonight. He is the inventor of the Emerald Explosion. Many yellow, many other players here do it, but he's the one who did it first. We'll see if we're graced with it here tonight. Meeting in the mind, Sub-Zero wins out. Worked off into the corner. Sub runs in. Our will move out of the way. Back and forth, elbows versus chops. Super kick ends the strike battle. Goes around to the back, takes it back, back elbow. And there oh, is that, that elbow. Classic yeah. elbow rake he likes to do. Rolling elbow miss. But that tiger driver oh. connects. In the middle of the ring. Last that one almost ended. It. And this one also almost ends up, but still, sub, still in this. 
He might have to whip out that Emerald Fuzzy. Oh, he opened the back of that and he's knocked out. That'll do it. That will They're sour. Taking his God score elbows. to a very respectful 10 to end the tournament. Nothing to be ashamed of from Bersawa this tournament. Absolutely not a very solid performance. The following match is going to be Kenny McCormick versus King 2, another two men who have been mathematically eliminated as everyone but Shadow and Godzilla have been. Kenny McCormick taking on King 2. The referee will be Slimer for this contest. Kenny King McCormick. 2 already at 10 points. That in the is tournament. right. Kenny McCormick at 8 points. If he, want, he could tie it up with 10, making himself tied for the second highest score possible, or King 2 will. Solidly put himself in third place. Here comes out Kenny McCormick coming out to the Princess Kenny theme. An alter ego that we have not seen from Kenny McCormick here, but we might someday. Yes, we might. We'll not be surprised. Here here comes South Park Dojo Boys are unpredictable. King 2 does not have any other personas. He is the only King 2. Not the only king, but the only king left, as sadly King 1 did pass away. Very unfortunate indeed. This is why King 2 took on his mantle. King 2 was an orphan at the orphanage that King 1 ran. Big suplex with the growl. Drop toe hold from Kenny McCormick. This is another one of those matches where, yes, mathematically both of them might be eliminated, but I don't think either men will fight like they're mathematically eliminated. Oh, I don't think they will either. I would hope no one in the Ring of Champions would fight like they've been eliminated. But these and two, we've you know, seen the heart and soul, both of them. Kenny McCormick fights with the mantra of win by any means necessary, and I think that does not change tonight. I highly doubt it will. Big slam from Kenny. Ooh, he did Palm Strikes. Strike. Trying to chip away. Oh, just a disrespectful kick to the face. Big arm drag takes King off his feet. You would think King would know how to counter an arm drag, because that's a very common move in Lucha Libre, which is the fighting style of choice that King comes in with. That's right. He is a very proficient wrestler. Absolutely. Uh, so it is surprising to see him hit with so Oh, what's this? Tornado DT! Oh. Kenny McCormick, no slouch in the ring himself, as you're seeing here tonight. As he honestly not. kind of dominates over King. It is very much feeling that way right now, Kurt. But that elbow well, might have been King's the turning able point. to turn things around. Kenny lifts him off. Shoulder tackle. Kick to the face Good from King. Kick. Locked. Ooh! Mounted punches. punches. Are illegal, but they can get the damage done within that five count. Big shove. And a big elbow. And he right back up, though. And is throwing punches. Kenny throwing just wild shots, not connecting with any of them, but he's just going for them. Haymaker after Haymaker. Connects with that kick, and then connects with that backbreaker. Ooh, drags him out into the middle. Runs off the ropes, sliding dropkick to the face. Another backbreaker, Ooh. and the chin it. lock. That, actually, that arm looks a little deep. That might have been a choke. Very well might have been. Oh. Fights out of that innovative submission from King. Leapfrogs over him. Meeting the minds. Both men stay strong. Oh, we're gonna get back and forth kicks. 
Anything you can do, I can do better. Kenny McCormick wins out the kick battle. Incredible. And hits a moonsault. Oh. A beautiful moonsault. DDT from King. And a moonsault of his own. Standing style. Two count off it. Another big suplex with a growl. And a giant swing. Looks like King might be finding his footing here against Kenny McCormick. Oh, but oh. as he does, he gets Rochambeau. Shot right that to the ball. Definitely days any man. Jumping Rana. Off again, big arm drag. Just a big haymaker punch there, and a slam. Oh my goodness! Kenny McCormick dominating this match. Not something I thought I was gonna say. Oh, Tombstone Piles driver from King trying to change up the pace. Impressive offense. Transition into a knee bar. And able to fight his way to the ropes. Whips King into the corner. Taking him up top. Could be thinking, I believe, Super Rana. No. Reverse. Oh, but King reverses it. Huge Tornado DT off the top rope. Goes and back a cross up. Bot, spring, oh. Slingshot crossbody. German suplex from Kenny. This is going. This is a match, folks. Moots onto right. a standing opponent. And a powerbomb. And powerbomb. Down. down. A lot of. Thank God. And now just throwing punches wildly. Some connecting, some blocked. Big backbreaker, backbreaker though. Oh. Indian deathlock. Fought out of Breaking it. Breaking on those legs. Front chancellor he takes a piece out of the ring, elbow to the back of the head. Flips him off into the corner, flips out of it, does king, but then gets wow. pushed to the oh. balls! And there you go. Flying kick. The king right back up. Running stomp. Cool running kick. And there's that innovative submission. It's like a mix between an arm bar and a neck crank. Big lariat. But Kenny with the power bomb. Back to the Indian Deathlock. Well, King has to tap. No, he fights his way to the ropes. He does fight his way out. Rochambeau kick to the balls. Hello, Greg. I don't know if you oh, you followed us. Thank you. I was just, I oh, welcome, you Greg. No, we haven't because you just followed us. Thank you very much. Welcome to our really weird Fire Pro series where we have characters like King and Kenny McCormick fighting. That's right. <laughs> Anything can happen. Anything can happen in the Ring of Champions. Big drop kick from King. Goes around. Oh, uh -oh. ball of yarn. He's rolling out and he stops with the pin there in the cradle. And gets and the pin the ball of yarn. King 2, your winner. Taking his score up to 12 points. And securing third place. I have some technical difficulties with my tablet. Fixed it. King 2, an impressive win, taking himself currently tied for second, which will not matter because he's actually tied for third, technically, because there was a double tie for first. That is thing. right. Is and not unfortunately speaking. for King 2, there is only two spots in the Getting semifinals. On into the semifinals, two sides of each block. Uh, who's next? Eddie Gordo. Is taking, taking on Zangief. Zangief, what a dream fight for fighting game fans. Two top talents from their respective fighting games. Absolutely should be a very exciting and dynamite match. Absolutely, Zangief representing Street Fighter, Eddie Gore representing Tekken. Currently, they both sit. Eddie Gore sits at eight points, Zangief sits at six. Zangief, let's be honest, uh, doing a little worse in the tournament than I think a lot of people would have predicted. Hasn't I really... think that is a fair estimation um, of the things happening I mean, I right now. He even, like, on the first ever show, got a victory, which meant going into this tournament, he had momentum 
A lot of people might have had their money on him. No, actually he didn't. He lost to Goku. He's just had a bad year. Yes, he has. Lost to Goku, who did horrible at the beginning of the tournament. Which Although has, has found been. his momentum later yes, on. Has. Can Zangi find his momentum here tonight and get that last victory possible for him, tying himself with Eddie Gordo? Also, understandable, Greg. Very fun game. This is a great game. From what I understand, very fun to play once you learn it. Definitely really fun just to watch, honestly. That's what we're doing here. Just simming it, and it's a great time. I believe Zangief bit open Eddie Gordo, and he's already bleeding. And we're not even a minute into no, the match. No, we're not. Flips Absolute out insanity. Goes for a big oh, car bomb. Chris. Takes it back by drop to the floor. One. And he finds right back into the ring, though. Flips out of the corner. Gordo. Flipping out, even with blood on his face. Very impressive. Axe kick. And Dragon screw leg whip from Medi Gordo. Awesome nice kick there. Running Larry to miss. Big Ooh, Halo Halo kick. kick. It feels like Eddie Gordo has Zongi's number right now, even though Zongi bit him open. <laughs> Might have just fired up him, Eddie Gordo. It definitely feels that way. Goodness. That's the Dick thing about seeing your slap. own blood pour down your face. It will do one of two things for you. It will either fire you up or it will break you. And it looks like it's firing up Eddie Gordo. Off the ropes, double stomp. We'll see if he's able to sustain that fire long enough to take out Kazangi. Oh! First choke slam. Let's Eddie get up to his feet. Gets taken down. Sandy Moonsault. Only one count. Oh, Rana. Rana. Eddie Gordo seems to be in control. But as I say that, he oh, finally gets that power bomb. Spinning back fist and back hand. from the Russian Cyclone. Oh. Another Rana into that double stop. And a big slam from Zongi. From the big man. Zongi definitely has the size and weight advantage, probably the strength advantage. Spinning well, Larry. So. Two. Oh, two count there from Zongi already. And we're still in this though. Absolutely. Spikes Ooh, him on that Rana. Spikes that Rana. Huge double stop. double stop. Picks him up. Detonation kick. Zongi up first, but dazed. And understandably so. Reverses another suplex, then reverses the German. And just falling back on him. Zangi. Using oh. that weight to his advantage. Oh, oh no! Final atomic oh. buster! Oh, oh he's my right god, back Eddie up. Gordo right back up! <laughs> and that super he's kick, even. and a double stomp. Goes back I up don't for know what one. kind of do training they're doing when they dance that capoeira, but whatever it is, it's working. Able to take that final atomic buster and get right back up. Oh, uh -oh. going for the 5-5. Ooh, meeting in the mind. So we see Sonic hit the 0191, his variation of that move later in the night. He very well might have to if he wants to stand a chance against the ultimate life form. That is right. Yeah. Oh, Trio O well. kicks to the stomach. Soul kick into that Haley kick again from Gordo. Oh, oh the high kick. Reverse choke slam. He's fired up. This is Zangief. But should it be because there's the Tiger Fang! Oh. Spinning kick. Standing moonsault. That Very close to ropes. It is! But not quite in him and gets the pin. Eddie Gordo with a fiery performance here tonight. Taking himself also up to that respectful 10 points. 
Absolutely. Incredible showings from the Tekken gang. Absolutely. Were you definitely doing the heavy lifting for the Street Fighter Company? Uh, well, you say that, but Vega, in one of his only, it's, I think only his second ever match, got a win earlier tonight, so. And it's true. Zangief definitely was the standout from the street. Well, there was also Blanca, to be fair, actually. Um, street Fighter's had its representation. Uh, yes, it is. It is now time for, at one point, the points leader, now tied for points leader, Godzilla, taking on, well, the man who has not got a single point in this whole tournament. Mario, Mario 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 Can he do it by beating Godzilla He does have a history of fighting big lizards and winning That is true He does have probably some of the most experience in this specific field in the specific field of fighting giant fire breathing lizard monsters Mario is kind of the guy to call. That is true. Maybe this is... Maybe Godzilla is Mario's first and only win in the tournament. At this we'll point, Godzilla... See. At this point, Godzilla is already guaranteed a spot in the semifinals. You have to also wonder, is Godzilla going to take it easy on Mario and I not care as much? I'd hope not, but you never know. I highly doubt it. Godzilla doesn't really know how to restrain itself. Can Mario do the unthinkable? The only man to beat Godzilla is Shadow. That's true. And well, Leatherface. See but if that was Mario has training. what it takes. Ooh. It would be quite the underdog story. Oh! oh. Crown knees for Mario. They've learned from our champion, Baki Hanma. Oh, it's two more crown knees. Again? No, blocks. You know, they're like super. Back out towards the center. Whipped off. And an arm drag. Two. Oh, good arm drag of his own. Absolutely. Oh, Mario Ooh, trying to go into those crown knees. He does. He wants to win, does Mario. He knows that this is a big deal for him. If he doesn't win here, how often will he be brought back? Especially with the score as when there's as much talent as there is in Ring of Champions, if you can't get wins, what's the point of using you? Let's be honest. That's, That's right. what the championship mini has to be thinking. Big hip toss. And mounted punches. Oh, maybe mount pond strikes. Slimer saying they were not fists. Ooh. Big fireball punch there. I don't know if that's one of those technicalities where technically Godzilla can't close his hands into fists. I'm not sure. I wouldn't doubt it. Ooh. Oh, just a slap to the face. Knee drop there. Follow up. Godzilla. Just a disrespectful pin. And Mario kicks out at one. Mounted oh, punches, he's bleeding. Oh. Mario got busted open from those palm strikes. Oh. Had him in a high stack pin, didn't even get a one. I think Mario's Not getting a little desperate here. Mario's worried. Oh. Mario doesn't want to. He's heard the talk. He knows Start that the championship Marriott. committee very well might not bring him back if he loses. Oh. I mean, he is Mario. He has name value. He might get one, maybe two more opportunities, but he knows he needs to start getting some wins. Yes, he does. Yes, he does, Kurt. It's not been a great run for Mario in the Ring of Champions. No, it has not. But there's a stunner! Could he be changing his... changing the narrative? One has to hope for his sake, he does. Punch to the gut from Godzilla. Godzilla says it's over. 
Oh, the combat clutch! Mario throwing everything out the window. Seeing well stick. Oh, crown knees? Oh. No! No! Butterfly suplex! Butterfly suplex! And a oh, pile driver? A pile driver. Very impressive string of offense for Absolutely. Mario. Absolutely, he can only just keep this going. Big running elbow. Repeated punches. Big punches. Takes Godzilla off his feet. Goes up top. Double stomp. That green was stomp from the top rope. That is right. Oh, oh no, made oh. Japan. That might just be it. But no, not quite. Mario kicked out of the main Japan. Super Mario Punch! Ten gone. punches. Takes him down. High stack pin. Oh my goodness. It's two. Two count. Can Mario do it? Ooh. Running elbow. King Kong knee drop. Another one. And another. Whips him off a reverse. Oh no. Runs in the slimer. Oh, slimer. Slimer knocked down. Open. Bleeding. Made oh, in no, Japan. Oh no, not another made in Japan. But he kicks oh. out! Kicks out of a second, folks. Shouting Kai! Mario is fighting with all oh, the people tonight. Oh, oh, to Peach, that could be it! But no! no! Big uppercut. Is this the underdog story of the century, folks? Mario trying to catch his breath, thrown to the floor by Godzilla. Godzilla with a springboard crossbody! Oh. Onto the floor. Mario with a stun oh. on the floor! Seven, spinning Lariat! The big spinning Lariat! Godzilla with a chair! Godzilla grabs the chair. Swings wildly, misses though. Misses though. Mario twice! Choke uh -oh. slam! Did not miss that hit! <laughs> Combat oh. clutch! In the ropes. Saved by the ropes. Another combat clutch oh. will get in the ropes. Headbutt. And a headbutt from Godzilla. Oh no. Oh my. Oh. Chokeplex. Goes for the pin oh, off that the leg. Ride. That might just be it. And it is. Godzilla, your winner. I think the fans might be booing. They're not happy. They wanted Mario to have his night. And you know what? I kind of did too. But, can't always have your bread and eat it too. No, you can. Now, for our last match of the tournament, for Block B, we have Shadow the Hedgehog, who is mathematically guaranteed his spot, having a grudge match against one of his rivals, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, well, Mun might say his long life for lifelong rival. Absolutely. Sonic is currently sitting at eight points. Could take himself up to that respectful ten if he could beat Shadow tonight. We'll see if he has what it takes. Shadow is guaranteed a spot, but you know Shadow will not take Sonic lightly. Because he doesn't... Let's be honest. If you look at their history, he doesn't have the most wins against Sonic. This is a big well, deal for He's on a run of a lifetime here in the Ring of Champions, and he needs this. Sonic fired up, coming on out. He's ready. Sonic versus Shadow. A match that easily could have main evented any show if it wasn't for the two insane title matches we have to follow it. That's right, folks. You hyped the show up as a double main event, but you could call it a triple main event with a match like this. You really could. Axe nice kick and a flipping senton to follow it up. Flipping senton, which I believe he does refer to as a homing attack. Very impressive. Is he is true. a practitioner of that move. Very well, does it very well. Circled him and then clinched knees to the chest rather than the head that we took the running attacks onto. Combo kick evaded. 
Hip checked him. Just a kick to the gut. Whips him off to Sonic. Jumping high Ooh. knee. Strike combo from Shadow. Shadow oh, kick. Sonic with the possum kick. Clean sheets from Shadow. To the thigh. To the thigh. Whipped into the corner. Shadow able to get out. Oh my! Ooh. Jumping tornado kick. Showing why Shadow's had so many shots at that King of Flight champion. Absolutely. He is an impressive competitor. I don't know if I'd call him the ultimate life form like he claims, but he is definitely a very impressive life form, that is for sure. Absolutely he is. Oh, grabbing oh, and a chair. He is very fond of weapons. Although he does usually prefer guns, I don't believe we've legalized that one in our I do not believe that is legal here in the World Champions. Because it is not legal in the state that we are currently competing in. You can't just bring a gun into a fight. No, you cannot. Things would get pretty out of hand pretty fast. Absolutely. Armoringer from Sonic. Drop kick to Ooh. the knee from Sonic. Shadow up first though. Hammers him down. <gasps> Homing attack. Senton. Kicks out those legs again, does Sonic. Sonic tries to the speed of Shadow. Very smart. That is definitely the basis for both of these competitors' offense. Another homing attack sent on. Overhead belly to belly suplex. Snap, bears him down. Kick to the gut. Kick to the thigh. Standing shooting star press. That could be it. But no. It is not. Only a one count. Ducks under that big enziguri again. Goes for it again. Misses. Shadow desperate to hit it again. A a pride fight between Sonic and Shadow. Absolutely. They are not willing to lay anything back. That's right, they're going all out because this match means a lot to both of them. As Just on a personal level. Lifelong rivals. <laughs> Another homing attack. This fight definitely has. Uh, Consequences far outside Phoenix of Phoenix 630! Champion. That could be it! Especially with a Spidey Clutch! Oh! But no! But it's not! Sonic kicks out! Sure Sonic Another Phoenix 630! Rights. The shadow just Another doesn't want to Another Spidey Clutch! One, two. But still only a two! Drop kick to the knee. Out those legs again. Ten <gasps> this is the big spin kick. Oh, oh. leg crossed Two. jackknife. Front chancery drives to the middle ring, elbow to the back of the head. Oh, you're a naked choke. Fights out of it. Shadow, you very quickly fights out of that choke. Reverses a suplex into a suplex. Homing attack set on. Attack. Oh! Whoa. Just a. He normally gets a big run up for that one, but chose not to that time and just kicked him right in the face. Sonic back in control though for a second at least. He was not able to quite capitalize off it. No, he was not. Could it be another. This time Moon Stomp to the moon back stomp. and the spidey, immediately into the Spidey Clutch. Weaken that back with that moon stuff. But no, he will not stay down. I think he's I honestly knowing Shadow, he has a little Ooh, bit of hot onto the chair. He might be getting angry. Moon stomp again between the chair. Standing shoe star press. Could this that be, could be it? it, folks? But no, Sonic's still in this! Overhead belly to belly. Overhead belly to belly. Stomp to the head. Jawbreaker. Back out. Deep chin lock. Choke. Punch to the face. Could be on for suplex. He hits it. Ooh, brain Ooh, buster. Brain buster. 
little extra stank on that drop. Overhead belly to belly again. Reverses a suplex into a Ooh. suplex. Drops him down, does shadow, but takes a possum kick. Snapmare. Snapmare down. Pick back up and punches between both the Back and forth strike battle now. No, 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 says Sonic. No, no, Big no. drop kick. But shadow back up. Spinning roundhouse. Cross leg uh -oh. jackknife. That could be it. It, it is. is. Shadow gets the win. And keeps himself tied. For first place. You want to go back into that page real quick? Okay. What? Oh, never mind. That's confused. You're right. They were both at 14 before tonight. It is now time for our first of our double main event, our two title matches. We have Spider-Man taking on Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, who had an impressive debut last week, even in defeat to Jushin Liger. Will be taking his shot at the Ace Championship title. Absolutely. Jeff Hardy, will he be modest on his way to the top? Will he make it to the top? That is a very good question. With a competitor like Spider-Man, who is undefeated in the Ring of Champions. Things are not looking great for Jeff Hardy tonight. But on any given night, any man can win any match. Absolutely. As we've said countless times, anything's possible. And we do mean it. We do mean anything's possible. But boy howdy, has no one proved that it's possible to beat Spider-Man yet. <laughs> what a tall task for Jeff Hardy tonight, folks. Absolutely. This was the match that Jeff Hardy called out for in his debut Five. video package. He said he wanted this. And he's getting it. it. Was the only way we could get him to sign to the company. It's true. Some might say that after Liger beating him, he doesn't deserve this title match. But it was under. It was already signed contractually. That's right. It was a done deal before he showed up. Web oh, swing neck neck from Spider-Man. Snap down. Into that, down. Drop into that drop kick. So old for Spider-Man. Spider-Man's carry takeover. So he feels very back and forth. Shoves down Spider-Man. Spidey with the Dragon's new dragon leg whip. Might have been his first act. I don't know why I said another. Love swinging neckbreaker. That definitely has happened already. Oh! And shooting star press. Kicks out. DDT from Jeff Hardy. Back and forth action so far, Jeff Hardy hanging in there with Spider-Man. This has not been one-sided at all. Not yet. Ooh, Another web swing neckbreaker. Neck breaker in that standing, standing shooter. Solver. Kicks out before one. Drop toll hold. Spider-Man tried to use that speed he might have an advantage with to try to string together a bunch of offense. DDT from Hardy. But Jeff Hardy is absolutely no slouch in the speed department. Oh, oh. Tiger Arrow! Once again, I was in the, the ropes. in the ropes that time. Up spring, web swing, neck breaker. Whipped off into the corner. Jeff follows him in. Kicks him in the corner. Oh! An impressive Ooh. headstand into a drop kick. Vintage Jeff Hardy offense. Goes for a big shoulder tackle. Spider Man able to evade it. Big slam. Could be saying after a swanton? And he hits it! There it is! That's his finishing maneuver. He hit it very early. Oh my. oh my gosh. It is his finishing maneuver for a reason. Take Spider-Man to 2.9 in the first six minutes of the match, folks. Barely over five minutes when he hit it. Standing moonsault. One, two. And kicks out at two, does Jeff Hardy. Does Jeff Hardy have Spider-Man's number? Web swinging neckbreaker. 
Another standing this moonsault. Might, that, two. that senton of his could be the key. That big swanton bomb could be his finishing maneuver that Give causes up. the win here tonight. Romero special. Jeff Hardy able, able to get out of it. Russian leg sweep. Picks him back up though. And twist of fate! Oh! Well, that could be it. maneuvers, that could be it! Two. Another 2.9! Spidey Destroyer! Folks, Jeff Hardy just might have Spider Man's number, folks. Web swinging neck breaker. Oh. Standing moonsault. Spider Man oh. stringing together a bunch of offense there. Yes, he is. Another twist of fate! Oh! And oh, oh, and followed by a swanton. The senton bomb. That could be it. Could he? Oh, oh no! I thought we were about to witness history, folks. Inziguri from Spidey. Another twist of fate. Will Jeff he go back to the top for that swanton bomb? Oh, he will. But no, no he wait, gets, he, he decides against Spider, it. He sees Spidey moving, gets up, thinks better of it. Oh. Another tiger arrow. It's not in the ropes. Only Very count, close, though. but not quite there. Referee Fairbury in the ring. Fate. Tell the difference. Another twist of fate. Drags him out of the ropes. I think he's just going up for another no. swanton. Hits and it. Gets it. Oh Could my goodness. Could this be it? Do you believe in miracles? No. Not yet. <laughs> Spider-Man's still in this. Leg whip from Spider-Man. He is the king of coming back from when you least expect it. Thrown to the floor. Spidey falls you can't him out. Down out, Spidey. Tiger oh, no. arrow on the floor! Six, you seven, can't go for the pin down there, but the damage is done absolutely. regardless. Eleven. Jeff whips off Spidey. Running Ooh. Bulldog. Picks him up. Oh! Quick roll through! Two. Oh, almost does it again. Almost does it. Does Jeff Hardy carry. have the number? Is he the first man who will ever be able to say, I beat Spider-Man. Oh, German with a bridge. Two. Jeff still kicks out. Nine. Ripped off. Round uh -oh. the world. Head scissors take over. Flipping and, senton. And flipping Another senton. one. Two of them. Jeff back up though. Dragon screw leg whip. I put yet again. Another German leg. That's oh, in the ropes this time. It's in the ropes. Whips okay, off man, Jeff. Break it up. Jeff shoves him down as he jumped up in the air to do something crazy. Quick roll through. Oh, two. But no. Neither man quite ready to give up just yet. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Neither man got what they wanted after running there. Kick to the gut. Standing moonsault. Could that be it? The standing moonsault could possible. be it. And it is. Oh, it is. Jeff Hardy is not the man to beat Spider-Man. At least not tonight. But after that showing, I want to see that match again because I think he might be the guy who could do it. He just might. That is our first of our two main events tonight. A successful title offense of the King of Flight title for Spider-Man. It is now time for our main event of the evening as Jushin Thunder Liger takes on the Ring of Champions Ace Champion Baki Hanma Oh this should be an exciting match Absolutely but We'll see if Jushin Liger is able to contend with the godlike knees of Baki Hanma Well Jushin Liger has sometimes been referred to as the beast god himself so maybe he is the man who can. A battle of the gods here in the Ring of Champions tonight. The Beast God, Jushin Thunder Liger, taking on the Grappler, Baki Fun. The Ring of Champions, Ace Champion, the first ever Recognized ace of the company, Baki Han. The first, and I do believe so far the only. Yes. Liger so is elbow. able to change that. Big slam from Liger. Punch there from Baki. 
Hey, clinch clinch knee. knee. Kick combo takes him off his feet. Drags him over into the corner. Be trying to set up for something. Arm dragging down. He doesn't. Elbow to the back of the head. Front of the head, even. Just an elbow. I don't know why I called it something else. I'm just so flustered after that last match. Now that we have this match, it's not over tonight, folks. This is our main event. Yes, it is. Uh oh. Oh my! Not no punches. punches. He's Hard raining illegal. them down like hell. Get a victory with that. The closed fist is oh, illegal. But there is still a chance for a knockout during that. That is true. Romero special. Baki able Baki to get the arms out. out. Mounted punches no, mounted to the back, of, to the the back of the head. Baki is no stranger to slightly underhanded tactics here and there if need be. Oh, he is not used to pulling punches when he fights. And uh, he doesn't really pull punches here in Ring of Champions, if I can be honest. Back to the match of punches. He fights like it's a fight to the death every night he steps into the ring. Tombso Pile Driver! Oh! Could this be the death of the legend of Baki Hanma? No! Only a one count. Give up. Into the single leg Boston Crab. Punch to the gut. Mounted punches, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Punch through punch. the legs. Oh. He may have been opening the hand right before he connected. Referee Fairbear saying those were legal. Might have been technically palm strikes. Clinch knee. Ooh, clinch knee. So far, we have not seen the crown knees. Fuji our armbar. Another tombstone. Oh. Goes up top. Flying elbow drop. Kick to the gut. Another one. Oh, back and forth kicks. Liger wins out. With repeated kicks into a flying elbow. Shades of Bone Samagra. Yes, indeed. Big back suplex there from Liger. On Chancery into the elbow and then into Fujiwara yeah. armbar. Tackle, dragging them out. And into the oh, mounted punches. punches. Again. Thankfully, Liger is getting his arms up to block some of it. Oh, victory roll! Thankfully, indeed. Oh, my goodness. This could be it. Oh, Babaki fights Not his way out. Time for victory. Pile driver! Hey, pile driver! Back elbow. Elbow's his way out. Back elbow though. again. Oh, how? Oh. Variation of like I was like a half and half suplex of sorts. Very impressive. It was in the corner, unfortunately for Jushin Liger. You have to wonder if it was the top rope now. Big flying splash. Goes up again. Flying and elbow, but elbow, no miss. But misses. Right into the, into the Fujiwara armbar. armbar. Give up. That strike combination goes for the mounted punches, but Jushin Liger fights him off. Oh. Strike Ooh. combo ending of that kick. But Liger! Kick to the pile driver! The pile driver! Jushin Liger throwing bombs right back at Bakiyama. Oh! Big suplex. Kick to the gut, takes Baki off his feet. Kapo kicks Kapo to the back kick. of the head! Oh my goodness! Him off. Stops him Baki able to stop himself. Mounted. No! Oh! Uh oh! Look at the crowd knees. Wait, got blocked. On. And then hit a gut wrench suplex out of it. Liger Throwing was able to floor. push away the knees though. And now he's oh. going for a big dive! Oh my oh. gosh! Tope got Hilo! Rochambeau! Punch down low from Bakiyama. Oh. Suplex on the floor. But both Better came back in at up 15. and into the ring. Going back and out. right back out. Like it was just breaking the count, I think. Two, three, he knows he can't win the title on a count out. Up under the back. On the top. Flying Big splash. splash. Again. And will we see that elbow? Another no. One, no another another flying splash. splash. Oh. Rings of Saturn. Oh. Baki refusing to give Catch up, the though. kick! Knee bar! Oh! A knee bar could potentially... Oh! 
Hockey able to fight out again. Very comfortable in those submissions. Start combo. Hits him off his feet. Off the ropes. Running kick. Well, you're right back up, though. I hate to jinx it, but we haven't seen a single crown knee from Baki Hanma. You have to wonder if he's saving it. He went for one, but it got it got blocked. It did. Is that the, I, that might have been the first time someone ever blocked it before he went for it. I think you might be right. So I mean, maybe he's worried that's might not the answer. Maybe a little bit apprehensive. Match. Maybe Liger has them scouted, but in oh, the Boogie Bar Armbar Armbar. scouted, because there it is—a tap out victory for Baki Hanma. Adapting to his opponents, and that's part of the reason he's still our ace champion. Absolutely. We have a couple big matches to announce for the next show. That's right. It is going to be a big show from what I'm getting fed into my ear right now. I'm excited about next week. First off, we have Vega returning after tonight to fight Busta Rhymes. Uh, in a rematch, we will be seeing ace champion Baki Hanma Taking on Yoshiaki Fujiwara after his two impressive victories in a row like that. That is very true. Maybe his head has hardened and he's going to be able to take even more of those ground knees. Absolutely. We will not have a tag title match or a women's title match on the next show because we will be having contenders matches in both divisions. We, In the women's division, we will be seeing Android 18... Take on Harley Quinn. In a number one contender match for the women's title, Starfire will defend it next Friday on a huge, huge show. The finals, the Championship League finals night. But then we will also have a set, we will have a yeah, a four-team tag title tournament, or tag title contender tournament, sorry, I got flustered, um, between the teams of the South Park Dojo Boys, Mike Awesome and Wolf Hawkfield. Um, sorry, uh, getting worried, what? Yes, the Ninja Turtles will be back. And... The te team of the Tekken Tag, King and Eddie Gordo. Oh, I can't wait to see them back in tag action. We will see the two first round semifinals matches in that tournament, as well as the finals of that tag contenders tournament. And then we will also see in tournament action, we will have Goku versus Scorpion, Leatherface versus David Arquette. Spider-Man vs. Buffy Summers, Raven vs. KG Mutoso, and Ryu vs. Danny Phantom. The two matches to look out for there are Raven and KG Mutoso and Ryu and Danny Phantom. If Ryu can if Danny Phantom beats Ryu, the winner of Raven and KG Mutoso have a chance to move into the semifinals of the tournament. Make sure you're there. It's going to be a big one. I forgot to put up the logo while I was talking there. Boom. There it is for the closing seconds. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.